Hello. How are you? Me? Oh, I'm doing good. Thanks. Um, I wanted to present a question, just a question, actually two questions, kind of, um, on evolution. We were talking about it tonight a little bit, and we were talking more about, we were talking about, um, common ancestry, where, um, everything in the earth, on the earth, sorry, ha that's living has DNA. And um, if we were to try to prove that we don't all have a common ancestry, we would have to prove that not all living things have DNA. Now we have proved that all living things that we know of have DNA. So how is that theory not unfalsifiable in its own meaning. Now, um, you can say that, okay, if you prove to me that there is a living thing, if you show me a living thing that <coughs> does not have DNA, then you will have falsified it. But we've already made the claim that there is no living thing without DNA. So, we are also making the claim that it is impossible for there's something to be living and not have DNA. So I'm trying to wrap my head around why that theory is not unfalsifiable. I think it is. I could be wrong, though. That's why I'm asking you guys, because you guys are experts. No, you're not, but you're, you're close or something. You read a lot, hopefully. You study a lot of uh, websites. <laughs> the, the second would be, prove to me why natural selection is falsifiable. How I can falsify natural selection. Um, now you can't, you can't obviously prove uh, a survival of the fittest kind of natural selection because <clears throat> that's not true in all cases. In fact, if if um, in natural selection, if a mutation happens that uh, has a negative effect, we still don't say that natural selection went wrong. We justify natural selection as being still okay. So please, um, <laughs> in at least less than 10 minutes uh, show me how these two theories are falsifiable in their own nature and if they're not if they're not falsifiable then please disregard them and never use them again yeah yeah well hopefully you can show me how they're falsifiable because I really hate for you to lose your uh, theories now I know that you're gonna say um, inserting God uh, makes the situation unfalsifiable. And I understand that. That's not what I'm asking for here. I'm not going to try to you know, say, oh, well, it's unfalsifiable so I can put God in there. No, I'm, I'm just, this is a perfectly legitimate question, I believe, and one that can probably be answered by men who are smarter than I. So I hope that you don't take uh, this in arrogance or this in anything other than what it is, which is simple questions for me to learn.